Okay, this is my HTPC setup, and I thought I'd just take a moment to show you guys before because I'm about to clean it up the state of despair that my HTPC and its wiring is in. Prepare. Ta da! Right, let's walk through the gear, shall we? Here's the official hole in the wall where the cable for the TV go two HDMI's and one power cable here's my recently installed one kilowatt UPS well one kilo VA anyhow here's my digital to analog converter an old Cambridge, Cambridge audio thing only does 1644 or 1648 but it's decent enough better than the integrated noisy sound card of this fantastic old Core 2 Duo based machine I actually built most of this from new I think it's built around an E6500 and it's got a an old GeForce 8800GT here what else really old no-name power supply 300 watts two ID hard drives 250 gig for various storage and a 40 gig for the OS and this heap of spaghetti is let's see here's my switchable power strip it's got a relay that's in here And it's hooked up to a 12 volt rail of the PC, so when I turn the PC on, everything that's connected to this power strip turns on. And the digital to analog converter and my volume control. This is a DIY project, a prototype a mate of mine is working on. Very nice. It's remote controlled, got a potentiometer back by the couch. And here we've got a 5 volt wall watt for USB power over to the couch. The USB cables alone can't handle it. And uh, we've got some breakout cables. This is an adapter that goes to the UPS and makes it a, from one of these IEC plugs into a normal. Euro European power outlet and what else there's pretty much just lots of cables here as I said I am about to clean it up in just a little moment oh and this one here goes up to my little LED lights that uh, provide some basic lighting for when something down here breaks in the middle of the night and I just want to get it fixed and that's my work lamp a 60 watt car lamp and a 7 amp hour UPS battery actually works, works really well considering that it's at least five years old but we're still going strong other than that box for my TV various cables my old GameCube should hook that up. A couple of pants, WTRT 54G, and a gigabit switch. Hammer, always useful. Old graphics card, manual for the TV. Various gear storage. These are my acoustic research. AR6 speakers. These guys are a pair of Tandberg TL2507s, Bang & Olufsen BioVox 2400, uh, a tape deck down here, a Tandberg TCD310, should need some oversight, Sony tape deck TCD 199 I think and I 
below it there's no receiver an Akai uh, AA1010 nice little 7 watt per channel unit and down here we've got an old Sanyo receiver SDK based about 25 watts per channel decent enough and it's tape deck below and these are my a couple of speakers 90 Sony fairly decent for what they are I really like the sound that's why I haven't gotten rid of them oh and a really old 26 inch flat screen TV this is one of the first ones that came out on the market it's really thick weighs a ton sort of broken the analog inputs doesn't work but you can still use DVI I think it's like from 2001 or 2002 and it's run a lot of hours the screen is all reddish but it's a nice spare for when my honking 15 inch pan a Samsung Plasma decides to finally break the, the warranty actually ran out on this thing just a while ago so I might do with taking it apart and replacing a couple of capacitors in it but I am fairly certain it's starting to go bad even though it has barely a thousand hours well not even a thousand hours of runtime behind it and I might install a external speaker connection on it because the internal speakers are absolutely terrible but I think the amplifier is fairly powerful so it should be able to run a couple of well stuff like the AR7s or AR6s fairly decently but that's a project for the future I mostly just wanted to show you guys my fantastic HTPC mess but I'm gonna clean it up now there we go it's hardly a work of art but you can at least somewhat follow the cables now this bloody DVI to HDMI cable is the only one I've got that will let me get audio through the TV this graphics card despite actually having a HDMI port does not recognize that such it uh, if I hook the TV up there it thinks it's connected through VGA and uh, yeah that's obviously not gonna work but aside from its length this cable is fine and I got rid of the 50 Hz hum I was getting out of the speakers before that's the real reason I redid this because if I turn the amplifier gain up to above minus 16 dB or so that'd be enough 50 Hz hum coming through to give a response on the meters and this is uh, like uh, my normal very heavily shielded test gear cable so I'm not entirely sure what was going on there isn't really any real ground to speak of here so I don't think there was any ground loops the deck is connected to a optical cable so the audio gear practically has its own ground it has nothing to do with a computer and the TV nor the UPS oh well I suppose it'll remain a mystery at least it works now cheerio